Let's swing! I'll be honest, car booting in the last uh, couple of months has been uh, slim pickings, it's been really bad. Um, and I have been picking tiny bits and bobs up, tiny bits, now and nine again, but nothing uh, has justified me doing a, uh, a, a full haul video until this weekend. And this weekend was a good weekend. Now, there's a few things that happened. One, I did a trade with a with, with a guy I know who wanted to uh, buy a load of junkers and a load of spares off me. So I had a big, great big bag full of that and I handed them over to him. Uh, and uh, in exchange for uh, this big bag of stuff, I ended up getting part of one of the Micro Master sets or something like that. Somebody did tell me what it was. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what it was, but I like the look of it, um, uh, and obviously I'll find the rest at some point. The inside of Pretender Carnivac, is it Carnivac? So I keep finding shells, and I keep finding uh, Pretenders. And I found a massive stack of Pretenders a couple of weeks ago uh, that I never put on here that was about, I think about four or five Pretenders that I found on flea market, and some of the ones only did like 50p each one because I didn't know what they were. So I keep picking up these pretenders because I keep finding the shells and I have some shells that I found and I keep finding the innards but I haven't found one that have been complete yet. But I have seen the dog uh, thing for this uh, uh, knocking about so eventually I'll come across it. G1 Broadside which uh, isn't the most complicated transformation in the world and uh, not the greatest of robot forms or but I don't know I quite like it there's something about it that, that appeals to me. I'm quite a good character apparently in the uh, IDW scene. No idea who this guy is. Uh, transforms into uh, some kind of yellow digger thing. Think he is Armada or Energon. Think it's Armada. Not quite sure, but uh, yeah, I quite like it. I like the chunkiness of it and love the colours. Probably, I don't know, maybe he's one of um, the Constructicons. Action Master Megatron. Which is the tank version of it? I, I just I love the 80s craziness of these things. It says 80s. It's actually 1990. This thing was made, so it still has all the stickers intact and all the rest of it. And eventually, I think I'll probably come across the uh, the Megatron that goes in it and the bits and bobs. But yeah, I like it. Just like it. I like that kind of that style. Protoform Star Screen, which is made of a very peculiar bronze plastic stuff uh, quite a nice alt form on this thing and quite a nice um, uh, robot form looks very nice next to the protoform Optimus Prime sirens going off no idea what's happening I... something's going down Um. Baboom, baboom, something like that. It's a nice big beast wars. This thing, I like it. It's got the uh, gun that goes in his mouth. I think it's just the detail on this guy with the uh, with the fur and all the rest of it. It's just sublime. Nice transformation. I like all the rockets and missiles thing that go on the chest and uh, yeah, great, great toy. I like that. I like it a lot. Same mold, two different toys. One with an Autobot insignia, one with a Decepticon insignia. I'm assuming this has to be Starscreen. This could be, I don't know, one of the Aerial Bots or maybe Silverbolt. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I have uh, one of the, I have the big version of one of these uh, upstairs, which I think it is Energon. So these are like little mini Energon versions. It's a nice little transformation on these guys. I like them. One of the G1 uh, Aerial Bots original die cast chest piece a uh, little tiny bit loose where his arm keeps coming away uh, but the rub symbol still works 
and it's so bloody hot at the moment that it's uh, all the rub symbols are just going off without you having to touch them. But the reason I have him is because of this guy, Generation Two Superion. I believe he's complete. I believe all the parts are there for him and all the rest of it. So you have silver bolt and all the rest of it. And there's a few tiny little chunks missing off of him, but apart from that, yeah, G2 Superion. I remember having the G1 uh, silver bolt when I was uh, young, and I, had, I found a Junker one not long ago. I was hoping that eventually I'd come across uh, all the rest of the uh, aerial bots, but a G2 one, that does me just fine. That's going to look absolutely fantastic on the G2 shelf. A few last things that I uh, also include in the uh, exchange. A 3P version of Shockwave, which uh, is a fantastic little toy. Um, transforms into just the, the legend scale, which I, I really like that kind of scale. But I, I mean, it's nice colours, nice transformation to it. Just a really, really nice, well put together piece of kit. And this, actually, believe it or not, was found on a market um, by him. So 3P does turn up on markets and you do occasionally find it just knocking about. It's rather nice. A little tiny version of um, Sentinel Prime, is it? I can't remember which Prime it was. Uh, I'm sure I've got that totally wrong. Uh, I have uh, the large version of this guy and uh, the this one, even though it's like a little tiny little version of the figure, the transformation is exactly the same. It's got very, very. It's got decent articulation. Transforms into the same kind of a uh, uh, craft, that spaceship kind of thing. It looks great. It's a nice, nice little thing. But the two best things that I got from him were a movie. I think it's from the movie uh, version of a. Uh, I don't no idea what the character is called, but he transforms into like a Delonghi toast. That's really cool. I love the transformation on this thing. It's a great, great toy. It just, it looks fab. It's got a little plug on it and everything. And when you've finished it, it looks like a little devil with like the, uh, with a little like devil's tail hanging off of it. Fantastic. If you get a chance to pick one of these up, get it. And I'll tell you what, the transformation is, is quite, quite clever, quite clever. But in my opinion, the best thing I picked up off him a G1 wheeljack and I had had wheeljack in the past and it was a smashed up junker version this one is in pretty bloody good condition but it doesn't have any of the stickers and it didn't have any of the uh, of the accessories either it didn't have the guns it didn't have the uh, spoilers or the uh, the wings on the back but now he has all the spoilers and as far as I know it's complete and the reason it's complete is because my friend Paul he gave me a KO version of uh, this toy which had all the accessories already on it and the accessory parts fit on it perfectly and they are in really as far as parts go it's pretty damn good so that makes that complete albeit I haven't got the stickers to put on it but I'm sure I'll fit. I, I'm going to TF Nation soon so you never know I might be able to come across a sticker sheet for um, a G1 wheeljack and that will come up lovely and that's just a sublime sublime toy so that means this weekend and this weekend I decided to go on a few car boot sales uh, and I went there with my friend Paul uh, and we went round Twin Oaks and we didn't find much at Twin Oaks but what I did find there was a few Marvel figures a Beast rather nice scale Iron Man Electro, I think it is, uh, from um, Amazing Spider-Man movie. Stealth version of Iron Man, which is really, really nicely designed. I like this thing. Some kind of other grey version of uh, Iron Man. Cap, in his um, World War II version of his costume. I like that. Spidey, from Amazing Spider-Man movie. And Thor, with, like, the, with his... Uh, lightning hammer thing great articulation all the rest of his parts are on there i keep coming across these small figures and uh, i do like them i like them a hell of a lot so every single time i find one now i'm just going to keep picking them up until i get the whole set of them be done with it there was a guy and he was selling uh 
like the RID, the new IRID, uh, little tiny figures, little Legion ones, uh, for £2 each packaged, which I thought was a pretty good deal. Uh, I'd asked him for a, if he were going to do me a deal and I could pick up like two for three quid and he weren't having any on it so I, I, sometimes I can't be bothered with these kind of people when they're just being like that and, but I did pick up a uh, bisque uh, packaged which uh, is, a, is a very very nice little figure love a little transformation looks a bit like a Vircon um, from TFP when you when you put him in car form but yeah he's a, he's a great little toy I like that I like it a hell of a lot and uh, I went past uh, this lady who was selling a, a few toys off and I managed to pick up a large version of Grimlock which has got a really nice transformation even though it's quite simplified for uh, for young it's simplified for younger uh, um, kids but it's a, it's, it's a nice little thing and it, it, it's got some clever little bits in it what, what it does and how it goes together so I quite like that my lad my lad likes it and he still does play with the with the transformers quite a bit so on Sunday morning we got up very very early and then we went to a, a car boot sale which was a, a little bit further out of the way and I didn't pick stacks and stacks and stacks up but what we did pick up I picked up some some real bargains some real nice some nice nice purchases found for 50p a deluxe version of uh, RID Optimus which I don't have and I really really like this thing it's a nice clever little transformation now the legs go together and uh, now they all goes together in the cab very very nice there was a young lad and this young lad was selling off uh, some of his TFP figures now I was tempted to buy all three but I already had them but I but the prices were really good. I didn't want to just, just rob him blind, so I didn't haggle with him for how much they were, but I ended up paying like £2.50 each for him. But for that, I ended up getting... Uh, I left the bulkhead behind, but I picked up the RC. So now I have RC with the... I can put both the uh, blade weapons onto her arms and both of the uh, uh, gun weapons onto her hands. So she's a bit more show accurate, which now looks uh, pretty good. But that... It has always been one of my favourite figures uh, from that line. It's an absolute joy to have. Uh, and I picked up the star screen as well because the star screen, if you never, if, if for how cheap it was, you always have to pick this toy up. It's an absolute dream of a toy, an absolute dream. Uh, so yeah, it was uh, it was worth every penny, really. Uh, we picked up a few other little bits and bobs, but nothing that uh, is uh, going to be uh, in this in this video. But when I went back to uh, Paul's house, he uh, he he asked me uh, if I wanted to have a toy off of him, which he didn't uh, he didn't care for. So uh, uh, I, uh, I went back and he showed me, and I was going, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll take that off your hands if uh, if, if if that's the case. Uh, so he gave me this Gret Beast, which is the Generations Toys KO version by. Jinjiang, 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 something like that. I love this thing, absolutely adore this thing. It's it's an absolute dream. The the head sculpt, how it goes together. I've had it fully apart and I've done I've played with it and it's just a toy. It's a proper toy and it's a really really enjoyable toy. And uh, yeah, that's it. Just looks fantastic in my collection now. I just think it looks brilliant. I really really appreciate him for doing that and. Uh, so that brings me to today, uh, and today I had to uh, look after the kids because uh, it's six week holidays and um, unfortunately they're not old enough to uh, fend for themselves so I have to uh, have, bit, have time off work. Uh, but the good thing about it is that I can go into town and occasionally I can go past charity shops and things like that and, and now and again, just now and again, I find stuff. And there's a charity shop not too far away from where I live. Uh, and I walked past and in the window was a basket and it was full of uh, Beast Wars toys. Now quite a few of them I already had, so I did pick them up and I just picked through the rest. Uh, so I managed to pick up Sky Shadow Complete, which is a really, really nice toy. It's uh, like a lizard kind of thing with a, with a cross between a dragonfly, I believe, or something like that. like that, like it a lot and I like the uh, robot form as well. But the best one I picked up today was Silverbolt, Beast Wars Silverbolt. This thing is fantastic. The actual 
sculpting on it, the paint on the wings is sublime. This is uh, fully complete, has his little feather things, has uh, his little arms on the back. I don't think there's anything else that it needs, but yeah, what a toy. Uh, I, I, I really, really am chuffed with this thing. I think it's one of the best uh, uh, pickups I've had in a long, long time. And uh, yeah, it's just a sublime little finish off to the day and, uh, and, and a finish off to having a pretty decent weekend all in all when it comes to pickups. Now, this is my uh, last pickup video before TF Nation. Uh, I will do a, a pickup video with TF Nation because everybody does a pickup video with TF Nation, don't they? But I've had a. It's been a pretty good um, week for me. It's been pretty decent. I have a list of little things that I'm going to keep an eye out for at TFN. Uh, but I'm most. But like I said before, I'm going for crack. I'm going to have a bit of a good time and uh, have some beer and enjoy myself and see Stan Bush. Uh, so, I will see you there if you're going. If I don't, if you're not going, uh, I'll do some videos so you can actually see uh, what TFN is going to look like. And um, have a great time. See you later.